I've talked before about how listening to the uncle, can't remember his name, the uncle. He was a Prusikiewicz, Prusikiewicz. And uh, he was going and going, he was an old, old man. <laughs> He's the kind of old man that drives you crazy. Just shut the fuck up. And he's going and going and going. And I realized it, at one point in this whole thing that this is possibly a sign of aging. Like there's some enzyme that isn't being produced in the body anymore that just wants everybody to put you on an ice flow and push you out. Just get the fuck out of here. I'm sick of listening to it. Uh, put another log on the fire, you got a Viking funeral. And how that enzyme that's missing is the one that's responsible for the punchline. That guy keeps going and going and going. You're like, what is the fucking point? And all of a sudden you should ask Bill Clinton, there's nothing wrong with a little head. Ha 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 ha. And you go, ah, but that never fucking happens. The guy never gets to the fucking point. It's because there's an enzyme that's not being produced anymore naturally. that allows for the punchline, the focus to get through. I mean, what old woman wouldn't rather have a husband that could get to the point than one that could just take a pill and get an erection? I mean, I'm sure that pharmaceuticals could do very well if they studied the punchline enzyme. I spoke of that before, but what I just saw happened to me. Here it comes, old man. Look at my life. I'm a lot like you were. It's being born near the end of the previous century. It fucks up your math. And it, it's mainly because it's confusing. But as you get older, you know, like I heard the guy say, 20 years ago, it's the best thing that happened since 20 years ago. And I'm like, okay, um, uh, it's 2022. I'm doing the fucking math. Um, it's gotta be 1990. You wanna go back to the previous century once you get about just past in your 20 years out, it fucks you up. 69, dude, and I'm sure my great-grandfather Martin, who came from Poland to Gaylord, wasn't a family vacation, it was a vacation to produce a family. Guy was nailing everybody, evidently, there are all kinds of them. I retract that statement, but there are all kinds of them. We're all over out there. You ever wonder why you shouldn't have more children than you are between the two of you? You look at how Gaylord filled, got filled and just inextricably linked a hundred years later by my great-grandpa, Martin. He was born in 1871, died at 106. Whatever year that happens to be, I was, uh, I saw his corpse and I have a memory of him alive, but it's just a fucking flash. This is a different kind of aging problem and it's not a problem. You'll be all right. 
but it's another aspect to consider within cohort communities how if all of them have problems they're automatically wanting to throw more years on it and go back to the century where they were in their prime um then they all start believing each other and it fucks things up and here they're all fucked up believing each other uh, that the years where do they go and all this uh, and they get going and going and going and and they don't even realize all they need to do is take a pill or a shot and they could get to the point don't forget the punchline <laughs>